Good morning everybody. Today we're going to be doing something quite exciting because as you see behind me we have our beehives. We've got nine currently at the moment, nine colonies at the moment and um, we've got a load of fencing stakes there. plan for today is where the trees are in the distance there we're going to knock in fence line all the way down to about where you can see where we've marked it out to this corner and then straight down to make our apiary look a little bit more tidy because at the moment it's uh it's a little bit messy and we want it to be a bit more presentable so previously i've gone round cut the hedge uh, as far back as i could just to try and make it as easy as possible there's still a bit of brush there but all of this, this space here, is going to be where we keep our bees. Why are we doing this? Two reasons. One, security. You know, people nick uh, a lot of beehives. Um, although we're not too worried about that because the house is just there. And secondly, we range free range sheep. Um, and the plan is to have a little flower strip um, going right around it and she likes to eat anything with flowers so yeah that's what we're going to do today the ground is still hard we've got the merlot i mean it's a little bit temperamental this is a telehandler or a forklift um, for those who don't know what a telehandler is so we've got our forks on the front well, just you saw me bring the fence and stakes around um, and then we got tractor with the post basher to go and drive these stakes in just to make our life a little bit easier because previously we've done it by hand and that's not fun even though I mean, these stakes are quite small but they should still do for us so that is the plan uh, I, what do I need to do? I need to go get us the netting the stock netting to keep said sheep out and we can start making this place look a bit, little bit more presentable um, for the general public catching a bit So we have already put in a post up there, that was a bit of a nightmare just because um, the tree was in the way, but we got there, we just had to cut all the brush out, and then it's, it's amazing isn't it, 21st century and we're still using a string to get a straight line, so what we're doing at the moment, we're putting in the corner posts, because they're the posts that are going to take the strain. Um, once this one's knocked in, we'll then chisel out a hole, put in the support beams, and then we can get a line going all the way down with these smaller posts. And it'll be the same thing. So with this machine, it's got the little um, levers to operate what it can do. But at the moment, we're just banging it in. Then we'll check with the level, make sure it's still at level. Um, so we can tilt it forward, tilt it back, boom it out, bring it in. Um, and it wasn't even a mistake, was it? Is safety helmet on. I'm standing a little bit back from it. Well, so these posts are a lot thicker than those posts. Just sort of taking the strain of the stock netting. Are you going to want to keep on going down a little bit still? One. 
my plan is to get four, uh, well, you can get about 40 hives in here. Whether or not we get 40 is another matter just because of the stocking. Um, there's obviously so much pollen around that they can harvest or collect and nectar. You know, you're then having to spread your workload across even more. That'll probably do. Now, all we're doing is marking out the uh, posts that we're going to be knocking in. I decided to just go one length per, um, per post. I think two is going to be too much, isn't it? Yeah. Too much pressure on the posts. And then we'll probably go in about a waist height because we've only got a little roll of stock net in there. Um, so it's just to keep the sheep out, Glen. So we've not knocked in our strainers. We've put the support beams in now. So hopefully these won't move at all. It's probably the straightest post we've ever put in as well. Because normally we do it by hand. And how hard is it doing it by hand? Very hard. So should we your pick? Right. We'll knock the rest of these in. Two weeks since we've last been here, just because life got in the way, it's been a bit hectic. Um, most of the fence, well, all the fencing's now done. We have got some hinges to put on through our gate. I've also got a um, bolt lock to keep hold, and then that will be our apiary all sorted. So then all that's left to do will be to tidy up all of these bits in there, get rid of them, get rid of all that stuff around our shed. We need to uh, sort out this door because the wind has kind of blown it out. Clean up this little area around here uh, and then start preparing our wildflower strip. Uh, all down the side here and then we'll pretty much be ready for the season to uh, kick off. Well we've cleared it, it's now basically walking out of the fence. Yeah I thought that might be the case. across it's a little bit bigger the gap than what we thought it was going to be but there we go nice little gate on it and level watch help so the idea is we swing in and around so we can still get wheelbarrows in and out collect all the supers back of the truck and uh job will be good in there It certainly looks a lot, um, a lot smarter now. For those of you that saw the sheep, that's Glen. Um, I saved Glen as a lamb last, it's nearly a year ago now. 
Uh, I saw a, a little ball of fluff on the footpath and thought, oh, that doesn't look good. So I thought it was dead, so I thought, well, I better go pick that up and, you know, just get rid of it. And it looked at me and barred at me. I was like, great. So I spent probably half hour trying to find its mum in the field. Uh, but when you got a 30 acre field full of about 400 sheep, and you're trying to look for one, it's quite difficult. So gave up, took it home, put it in a pizza box to, uh, and put it next to a fire to warm up. Following day, happy as Larry, or happy as Glenn. block in there because the gap for the gate was too much for this well mind you that box quite well anyway that's not going to be glen proof drill a hole in there and then it's going to be sheet proof is our apiary completed. Well, the initial part of it, we still need to tidy the inside, but the um, perimeter is all secure. Looks a lot smarter, tidier. So I don't think I actually explained what an apiary is. So an apiary is like, if you imagine uh, a new housing estate or a housing estate, that's what a uh, an apiary is, it's like a housing estate for bees, so you can kind of have any number of hives in and around an area. Um, it's just the reason we have them in an area all together, it's easier to manage, collect the honey, easier to treat them for disease. Um, so at the moment we have nine hives, but we're going into our second season of beekeeping this season. Hopefully, come March, end of March, weather will be warm enough for us to open up these hives, see how many have overwintered and also see uh, which ones haven't survived. You know, you, um, you call them dead outs. So if a colony has died over the winter, it's a dead out. So that is the end of today's video. It's the first video of Lagnus Farms Honey that we have made. Um, I think it's just we're going to try and do more as the season kind of uh, progresses. Obviously in the winter there's not too much um, that happens, but uh, as soon as we start opening up hives, doing inspections, we'll video all of that. Because uh, I think it's important to show you, the public, you know how your food is produced. Because I think, especially with today's society, everything is kind of blown out of proportion. Um, so we, we don't only do honey, uh, we do have a small farm just outside of Pagham uh, that we grow. We, we do a share farming agreement with another farm uh, where we have sweet corn. We've got a lot of sweet corn this year. We're going to have tender stem this year, uh, green beans. Uh, we're going to do wheat. I also do um, some hay as well. So I'll try and video as much as I can. I think it's important to show you what uh, we, we, we do throughout the year and I hope you enjoyed this first video. If you did, give it a like or just any comments to tell us what we could improve on, what you'd like to see. As I say, there's, there's a lot that will be going on throughout the year but in the winter it's a little bit quiet for us at the moment. Um, but it will soon, once the weather turns, it will soon ramp up. Um, got to try and shear a sheep. Never done that before. Uh, so that will be an interesting one. But uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching. So leave a comment or two if you, if you enjoyed it. Tell us what you liked, tell us what you didn't like. Um, and I'll try and do my best to improve.
because I'm not that great with technology and stuff so I don't know how it's going to come together but fingers crossed not too bad. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.